Today I want to talk to you about traveling down to our center for surgery and the coronavirus. Hello, I'm Dr. Alvarez and today I would like to talk to you about the coronavirus if you're planning to have surgery or weight loss surgery with us. Now I know there has been quite a bit of information out there in the media, but here I want to give you my professional opinion as a doctor. I also need to remind you that your main sources uh, of information should be the CDC, the World Health Organization, or the Department of Health. And I would highly recommend you stay up to date with their information since things change very quickly, especially when it comes to new viruses like this one. People who get sick with the virus, which the correct name is COVID-19, co for corona, vid for virus, and 19 since it started in December of 2019, 81% of the people will have a mild illness. 14% will have a moderate to severe illness, which can lead to pneumonia or a bacterial infection on top of it. And 5% of the cases will be critical cases where patients may need uh, respiratory support or intensive care unit or may even die from the infection. If you compare this mortality rate to the virus COVID-19, which is 3.3% versus the most deadly virus we currently have, which is the Ebola virus, which is close to 50% of the patients, well, it's not the most lethal virus that we have. So in perspective, this means that the chance of acquiring the virus as of today is very low. And even if you do get the virus, the chance of you dying Dying from it is minimal since 8 out of 10 patients will have minor symptoms. Now, if you are overweight and you're thinking of coming down here for surgery, well, let's talk about the coronavirus versus obesity. First off, at the time of this recording, there are 100,778 cases of coronavirus worldwide versus more than 2 billion, yes, 2 billion adults being overweight and 650 million people with obesity. The coronavirus has killed 3,412 people since being discovered versus obesity killing 2.8 million people per year. You need to ask yourself, who is the real killer here? You are at real risk of being obese. Now, let's talk about coronavirus and endo hospital. In order for you to get to endo hospital, you need to get to San Antonio. We can pick you up there and drive you over here. This means that you are left with three components you should look into. One, the airplane to San Antonio. Two, San Antonio itself. And three, endo hospital here in Piedras Negras. Let's talk about the airplane to San Antonio. This morning, there was a newsletter posted by Ryan Green, the Senior Vice President and Chief Marketing Officer of Southwest Airlines. In this letter, he details all the extra steps and precautions they're taking in order to make the planes safer for their passengers, cleaner and extra protected against the coronavirus. If Southwest is doing this, that means all the other airlines are not going to be far behind and will probably take the same measures as Southwest. The second part, San Antonio. The current situation is that there are 11 people remaining at the Texas Center for Infectious Disease who have tested positive for very, very mild cases of coronavirus. But no one in Texas has test, uh, tested positive for the virus outside the quarantine. The San Antonio mayor, Ron Nirenberg, stated that there are currently zero, zero cases of community transmitted COVID-19 in Bexar County and San Antonio. The risks of infection in the general public remains low. And with that being said, let's talk about Endo Hospital in Piedras Negras. Needless to say, here at Endo Hospital, we go above and beyond to keep our premises clean and safe for all our patients. We have cleaning staff working 24 seven for you and every single room and place of Endo Hospital will be spotless and safe. Also a side note, we're just located eight blocks from the border with Texas and there have been zero confirmed cases of coronavirus here in Piedras Negras and the surrounding areas. If anything, being here with us might actually be safer than being anywhere else in the world since we operate and run a state-of-the-art hospital and only 
receive patients for weight loss surgery. This is pay, the, the whole hospital is not open to the general public. Also, Endo Hospital is the only facility in the whole region that has HEPA filters, which stand for high efficiency particulate air in the air conditioning system, which means that the air you breathe is filtered and super clean. You can feel safe and let us take care of you and your surgery. I want to end this video with the basic precautions that you can take such as washing your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, use alcohol-based hand sanitizers and avoid touching your eyes, nose, mouth with unwashed hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick and please cover your cough and sneeze with tissue and then throw the tissue in the trash. If you're sick, Please stay at home and clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces. I want to keep, I want to tell you this and keep this in mind. Stay alert, but don't get anxious. All right. Keep in touch with the health authorities I mentioned and follow their preventive guidelines. My team and I are always available to answer any other questions and feel free to contact us. I'm Dr. Alvarez with endobariatric.com where we are changing lives one sleeve at a time. Take care and God bless.